So it's about time. I'm introducing to you the Anniversary 2.0. Um, this time it's called Snafu. Server needs a freaking upgrade. Um, it's basically the same as the Anniversary 1.0 with a lot more uh, a lot more options um, and it's much more in depth as to uh, just like part options uh, pricing especially value so we're gonna look a lot at um, price per gigabyte for RAM or price per terabyte for hard drives uh, price per drive bay for cases things like that um, it's going to cover, like I said, a lot of options. And my goal is to create something that is going to stand for a much longer amount of time than the first one. And I know the first one was based around one board, and that board sold out uh, fairly quickly. I think there was something like 700 of them sold. Um, so that was pretty incredible, but Again, we're going to be using Socket 2011, but uh, it's been about a year, a little over a year. I think we're about 15 months from the first build, and things have changed a little bit. Uh, we've learned a lot of lessons along the way, and prices have come down, some new hardware has surfaced, and um, yeah, so we're going to talk about all of that in this build. Um, this is just the introduction video, so you'll see this linked at the top of the guide. Um, you might see it pop on you up on YouTube, and you're going to say, well, you don't really talk about it in this video. Yeah, you're right, I don't. But I'm just going to give you a quick little overview, talk, tell you about, you know, just a little bit from each section, just super quick. So uh, you can go right to the forums. So you go to serverbuilds.net. Right now it's pinned at the top. Um, so it's right on the latest. If you want to find it, you can go to builds. And then you can go to LGA 2011. And then it's also pinned to the top there. And it's right on the front page of the website as well. So you can go right to serverbuilds.net, find it from there. So at the top, we have a link to the Discord. And if you're not in the Discord, you're really missing out. We have a lot of fun in there every day. Um, if you have tech support issues, or if you aren't sure what hardware to buy, or you just want to hang out um, and talk server hardware, we actually have a lot of hobbyists in there that do other stuff too, so come hang out with us. It's pretty fun. We've got over 6,000 members now, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the objective is just to create the end-all guide for 2011. And I really do mean that because um, as time passes, 2011 gets older. It's still not a bad socket. It's still great, in my opinion. But um, it's not like there's new hardware, new motherboards coming out for it. So um, I'm going to outline all of the viable motherboards that I've found and all of the CPU options. You know, Intel's not making new 2011 socket CPUs. So we're going to do all of that update the anniversary NSFW, you know, the, the 1.0 build to include more options and avenues for building, uh, also including vendor direct deals, pre-built systems, adding cards like 10 gig E or, or um, you know, LSI SAS, stuff like that, storage options, which people have been hounding me about, and uh, sample builds, which we did before. Um, we try to do that in every guide. So, this is going to be very similar to the NASKiller 4.0 style guide where you know we have the table of contents. You can just click on any part of this table of contents and it takes you right to that section. Um, it's going to be a little bit more in depth though because as I learned the forum and uh, try to create uh, more extensive guides, um, it's going to have a lot more content. So in the table of contents, uh, we're in the objective overview section, uh, case, motherboard, CPU, CPU cooling, RAM, power supply, adding cards, other parts, SSDs, hard drives, pre-built, all that stuff is right there. So just 
you know go down the option go down the list and the big change with this is that these are um in the order that i recommend you research them so i'll talk about that in like two seconds now before you get started make sure your components are compatible don't use the ebay listings to uh, to do your research use the manufacturer specifications and documentation always and if you have any questions ask on the discord and get multiple people to verify that things are compatible if you need to plan your build google sheets helps pc parts picker doesn't have any of this hardware on there and you can like insert it and stuff and it, it just doesn't really work so don't use that that's great for gaming builds and stuff but for servers and stuff it's not going to help you um purchase from really good ebay sellers there's really no reason to not do that so look for 98 percent positive feedback always use the best offer when you can there's no reason not to um you don't have to lowball just offer like 15 to 20 percent off the list price see where it goes and then uh, maybe they'll counter offer maybe they'll decline it uh, maybe they'll just flat out accept it so uh, it really can't hurt that's where you get the good deals you don't get good deals from auctions so find a buy it now item with a best offer and see what happens check the vendor direct deals and the pawn shop uh, these are both sections of the forum the vendor direct deals uh, currently Rhino Tech is really taking over this space, but they're doing a good job, and I think people have been pretty happy. So, um, for example, they have a group buy of HP 4 terabyte drives, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they go for as for as low as fifty bucks. So uh, you can put an order in for that. They'll just send you an invoice. You pay the invoice, they ship you the drives. And if you have any problems or anything like that, they think they have a, you have to look. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 90 day warranty. Um, so if you have any problems, uh, I wish you won't have any problems because they're great. Um, but they will surely take care of you. They're a very good friend to uh, serverbuilds.net. And um, yeah, so anyway. Check the vendors section. This is getting updated quite often. What gets updated even more often is the marketplace. And people like to post their own stuff here. If you need something for your build, for example, for 16 gig sticks of DDR3, 65 bucks shipped. That's not too bad for uh, 64 gig RAM. That's a dollar a gig. Somebody needs to buy this. So anyway, check both of these places. You'll probably be able to find something that you could use in your build, like maybe 48 4 terabyte hard drives or 48 3 terabyte hard drives. Um, those are really good places to get good deals. And then, last but not least, I hate saying this, but please, please read the guide. Like, just read it. I have really tried to be thorough i put a lot of work into this it's been months in the i mean i started this in july the end of july so um yeah i've put a lot of work into this and um on the same note if i didn't cover something that you think needs to be covered please comment please ask me i will do my best to address it whether it's to you directly or if it's important enough and i'm like you know i just totally blanked out I will add it into the guide and credit you for asking. So uh, I tried to be approachable as far as stuff like that goes. I'm not above criticism, so please let me know. And then the last thing that I think is really important and might help some of you out there, especially if you're new, um, and maybe make this a little bit less daunting for you. Um, I know this isn't exactly how this chart is supposed to be used, but I'm going to use it this way, and I'm sure that you guys can read it so just take it for what it is but I've made a chart that has suggested research and planning like an order of how to do things so you click this chart you start right here this blue thing and you go down and you say okay 
I need to pick a case and let's look at how many drive bays it has. Let's see if the size fits your, uh, the space where you want to put it. And then let's also look at uh, motherboard form factor support. So I have this different criteria, just kind of a general, uh, general overview of things to look at when you're looking at each component. And then you can just follow the arrows and see what order to do things in. Um, so right after picking your case, I would pick a motherboard. Now you can kind of do them in an opposite order, but you know, I had to pick something to put first. So this is the, this is the general order um, I've chosen to do things and recommend to do things. I think it will work best for most people, especially if you're new. Um, and coincidentally, it is the order of this. So as you go down and say you choose to ignore this, well, I'm going to force it on you anyway. So they're right in the cases, right straight away. So we'll talk about all of that in another video uh, as far as cases, motherboards, CPUs. I'll try to make maybe it just like a very short video. I know this has already been 10 minutes or 11 minutes, um, but I will try to make a very short video for each section just going over what I think is important because I know that's more digestible to some people. Um, thanks for sticking around for this. Thanks to everyone who's donated, supported me through uh, writing this guide and provided feedback. Um, to those of you who have already built it, uh, congrats. And I've seen some of your builds, they look awesome. Um, and that's because you've been patrons, you've gotten early access to this kind of thing. Um, thanks to all the moderators, trustworthy people for putting up with me and helping me out with the guide. Um, couldn't do it without you guys. So that's it for this build, or at least for the intro section. Um, if you want to check out the next section, um, I will add a link at the end of the video and I will see you guys next time. Happy building.